ready. Time to make the chicken. So what we're gonna need for this recipe is one and a half pounds of boneless, skinless chicken thighs cut into one inch pieces. I cut up tenderloins, which I think will be just as good. It's okay. chicken, you know? I think any kind of chicken. I'm really not a big fan of chicken thighs. Okay. We're gonna need two eggs, lightly beaten. Okay. Lindsay's gonna take care of that. A little salt and pepper to taste. One half cup all-purpose flour. One half cup cornstarch vegetable oil for frying and we're going to use a little deep fryer today two teaspoons of sesame seeds two tablespoons green onion sliced that's what we're going to need for the chicken so we'll get started on that first and after that we'll make the sauce we have a little over a pound and a half of chicken tenderloins here cut into one inch pieces so what we're going to do is you place the eggs in the bowl just salt and pepper those eggs to taste whatever you think Next, what we'll do is mix together the flour and the cornstarch, which is half cup of each. You're also to heat three inches of oil in a deep pot to 350 degrees. So I have the deep fryer heating up. I didn't have it quite at 350, so it might take a minute or two. And But if you don't have a deep fryer, like they said, in a deep pot, just put about three inches of oil in and you should be good to go. Next, what we're going to do is dip each piece of chicken into the egg mixture, then coat it in the flour mixture. Repeat the process for all chicken pieces. So egg, flour, then we're going to put about as many as we can fit in here at a time, this little basket. So go ahead, Lindsay, how about if you get started on that? Okay. The green onions and the sesame seeds are going to be for garnish. These are a little bigger than an inch, so I don't they think are. need a little extra time in the fryer. They might, but that's going to be pretty good. The deep fryer won't take them long. Okay. Okay. Very good. Just flop that around. Yeah, mine are a little bit bigger than an inch. An inch is kind of small though, isn't it? You know, if you see those ones that you get at the, where you, like Walmart sometimes, mm -hmm. we'll have those. Those are pretty big pieces, I think. It says to do about eight or nine pieces at a time. So, we got about, this will be it for this batch. I'll put one more in here. So, off to the deep fryer it goes at 350 degrees for about five minutes. We're also going to get another bowl of cornstarch and flour because it starts to clump up after a while. So you may want to have an extra cup of that ready. In the meantime, we can go ahead and start making the sauce. Okay. Do you want to tell the folks what we're going to need for the sauce, Lindsay? Uh, two teaspoons vegetable oil, vegetable oil, two teaspoons minced fresh garlic, half a teaspoon crushed red pepper flakes, three quarter cup low sodium chicken broth, two tablespoons hoisin sauce, two tablespoons brown sugar, a quarter cup low sodium soy sauce, and a tablespoon of cornstarch. Okay. The only thing we do not have today is the hoisin sauce. So we are going to substitute a sweet barbecue sauce instead. So we're gonna use a honey barbecue sauce, sweet baby rays, uh, that should be a pretty good match, hopefully. We'll see. And we do not have low sodium soy sauce, so we will be using regular soy sauce. We will be omitting the red pepper flakes today. You know your dad doesn't like them. Lindsay, you like it, but we don't. So we're going to get rid of that. So I will read to you what you are to do, and if you want to go ahead and get the ingredients. It says first, heat two teaspoons of vegetable oil in a saucepan over medium heat. That's why, that's part of your missing plot. <laughs> yeah, I'm missing you gotta, plots. Even for the, even the, I hate, I don't like doing it for like the little stuff for the spices, but there again, if you have it right it's just, you just throw it in. Wash. I like to well, be a little, all the chefs do that. They have them in little yeah, tiny. Yeah, that way they're going to like, oh yeah. crap. <laughs> that's true. Because right now, like stuff like garlic will burn really fast. So like, if you don't have your stuff in, garlic burns. That's right. That's right. And then you're like, poop. I would have That's just it. Had that next I would have just me. had it ready. Okay, I'm going to spray the basket, which I forgot to do the first time. I had to uh, scrape those out of the pan. <laughs> They're still good. They're still good. They look delicious. They do look delicious. So we're going to put another basket in, and the next one I'm going to do in the fresh flour and cornstarch. So 
we'll put all these in here. And Lindsay is making the sauce. Okay, off they go. Five minutes. And that seemed to cook just perfectly. Okay, so for the sauce, Lindsay is heating two teaspoons of vegetable oil in a saucepan over medium heat. She's adding the garlic and the crushed red pepper flakes if you are using them, and she's cooking that for 30 seconds. Then next, she is going to whisk together the chicken broth poison sauce, which we are using the sweet barbecue sauce, brown sugar, soy sauce, and cornstarch. And then she's gonna add the liquid mixture to the pan and bring to a simmer. I would recommend measuring these stuff out first. Yes, that, that way you're not cornstarch. Okay. Yes, have everything measured out. You know what I'm gonna to have to purchase is some of those little teeny bowls that you can have all your seasonings measured out. I'm usually just too lazy. I don't feel like washing them all, but it, it does save you time. Uh, it makes it a lot easier in the kitchen. And you're gonna cook it until it's thickened. You'll be able to tell. Probably more like a gravy, but you know, it'll have the cornstarch texture. Yes, so it's pretty incorporated. And our sauce is beginning to thicken. Oh, it is? Okay. Yeah, I love that look of the little bubbles. Yeah. Looks pretty Smells darn pretty good. good too. We may want to test it first, Lindsay, before we pour it all over the yeah. chicken. Here's our chicken. All right, we'll put these on there. Well, that helped. <laughs> yeah. That really That's made a big spray. difference. The uh, <laughs> cooking spray, definitely. Definitely do not forget that step. Oh yeah, the sauce looks good. You know what? You better taste the sauce though. We'll each give our own opinion of the sauce. Go ahead, Lindsay, you first. Okay, it is nice. Um, I think it's pretty much perfect consistency for the sauce. It just it does the spoon. It does just coat the spoon in. It looks. Oh, it's good, Lindsay. What do you think? Yeah. I'm interested to see how close, like the. The substitution for the hoisin sauce. The, the hoisin, hoisin sauce, sauce, they say it does make a difference in the taste. Okay, yeah. It's so, so good. It's, a, it's a good sauce. It was a good replacement. But if you want the true General TSO's chicken, you want to get the hoisin sauce. But yeah, that's still good. Yeah. That's a good alternative if you don't have it. So how about, Lindsay, if you go ahead. You think that bowl's big enough? Yeah. Okay. Let you go ahead and mix that together. It does have a nice thick consistency. Remember used to make that teriyaki chicken at Sam's Club used to get? Yeah. Oh, that was that kind of reminds me of that a little bit too. Probably because the soy sauce flavor. Oh yeah, that's great. And if we have enough, then we'll throw the rest of the chicken in. If not, we I think we will. Yeah, if you want to actually, there's plenty in there. Okay. Go ahead. Let's go ahead and there. watch your fingers because this was came out of there was hot. Even though I'm just bringing yeah. it off with my fingers. Okay, it's looking good. Should we sprinkle a little sesame seed on there? And our little green onion. That's just my favorite. You let me know how much you think. Just toss it around. Should we throw these in? Yeah. Okay. Throw in a few green onions. That looks good. Do we need any more sesame seeds? Uh, I don't know. Do they really? I don't know what the flavor. Oh, they don't. They oh, okay. Don't there's. Have, I think yeah. we're good then. Okay. I don't know. What do you think, Mother? Well, uh, we got the look of the sesame seed, so that's good. Yeah, there was plenty of sauce for even a little bit of extra chicken. Yes, because I had a pound and ten ounces, so I actually only had an extra two ounces of chicken in there. Lindsay and I have prepared a feast, Douglas. A feast. A feast to be had by what all. General TSO's chicken and fried rice. TSO. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is from Taiwan, I believe, and the rice is from China. Straight from China. Straight Oriental from dish. China. Okay, so go ahead and try, see what you think. Any thoughts? I like it. I like it. Now the rice test. Wow, something has peas in it. I know. I knew Doug was going to say about the peas. You don't like peas? Oh, that's right. You don't You, you don't don't love them. them. But do you like them? They're okay. Mm -hmm. You can add peas to everything. But in this, the peas are fine because they just added a little accent to it. I just don't like to sit down with a whole bowl of peas. 
I would though. Uh, I actually had to go for a bowl of peas. Right I now. would do a little bit of butter on it, salt. Yeah, mm. I could even tell mom I could eat. I could just let a, a thing thaw, a frozen thing thaw, and just eat them right out the back. Because I remember at the hostess salad bar, we always had cold peas all the time. Oh. I just thought that was so good. Not so big on cold peas, but. Well, you do like peas. You used to eat those Argo peas in a can. Those were nasty. Mm. I don't think canned peas are good. Do you think canned peas are mm -hmm. good? Oh. <laughs> yeah, they have a different, that's a different texture of pea, but it's still a good pea. Still a good pea. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us here once again on Dee's Delights. We hope you enjoy your chicken and rice. It was pretty quick and easy. We made a mess in the kitchen, but that's okay. Right, Lindsay? Yes. You always do. We, yeah. <laughs> yes. So we'll see you next time. Have a great day, everyone.